Spaghetti capumarola fresca, pasta e fagioli, alice fritta napolitana e finale lo bello babarum. E now eat everything because this is the very best in the world. Munch! You must be asking yourself what is going on here? So am I. Well, you guessed right. I'm in Napoli. Pasta, risotto, antipasti. These are all Italian inventions, the most popular food in the world. I'm in Naples. This is such a beautiful city. You know what they say? See, see Naples and die. Cosa fai? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing a TV show. I'm, I'm in the middle, sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> in the next 24 hours, I am going to eat Naples street food. I'm going to eat just like an Italian. What you do? I'm, I'm doing a show about street food. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working here, all right? Thank you. I'm going to eat I just like you. an Italian. No, it's okay, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. I I'm, thank you. Um, in the next 24 hours, I'm going to help. Best money. Well, uh, it's 7.36 in the morning and here you can't start your morning without some coffee. Italians take their coffee very, very seriously and uh, they'll have their first morning coffee in coffee shops which have been here since the 7th century. Hello. I'm looking for the professor. Yes. You're the professor? Yes. Uh, I've came a long way to drink your coffee. This is amazing. Do you recommend this? Uh, yes. All right, perfect. I'll have one of those then. I have another coffee and nocciola. What's in it? Café. Café. Nocciola and crema di café. All right, let's taste it. Salute. Wow. Let's say if you're a bit tired in the morning, after a cup of this, you'll be rocking and jamming. It's a good energy. This place is really beautiful. Why is it called the Professor's? Café del Professor. Allora, ci chiamiamo Bar del Professore perché un poco o perché io vengo dalla musica, essendo un musicista, ero professore di musica. E quindi abbiamo abbinato più o meno a, a questo titolo, a questo nome, il caffè. Abbiamo due priorità in questo locale. La musica e il caffè. What kind of music do you like? Ma tutto. Rock and roll? No, no, tutto. No. Tutto, tutto, tutto. Heavy yeah. metal. Poco meno. No, 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 it's not your style. Opera. Opera, Opera. Sì. Opera. Can you sing? Just a bit. No. Just a bit. Do they sing? <laughs> no? No? O solo mie. Ah. <laughs> How many different kinds of coffee do you have here? Noi qua attualmente facciamo circa 63 tipi di caffè. Wow. All right, so I've only had one. So maybe I'll have an occhiato. Li vuole nella tazzina o abbiamo un prodotto particolare? Dammi una cialda. An edible macchiato. Wow. Cioccolata e biscotti. With chocolate and a cone. Of course I want it in, in this. I have only 24 hours to eat everything you have in this city. So I'll have a quick sip of this. Mm. Just need to finish eating up my coffee. Thank you very, very much. Ciao. Oh, oh. Forgot my hat. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, wait, hang on. Mm. That's it. 
Grazie. Eat and drink for tomorrow you may die. This is the motto of the people of Naples. And this is because of the constant threat of the volcano Vesuvio that can erupt at any moment and erase this place in an instant. But this is not only bad news. Because of the volcano, the soil here is very fertile and this affects and enhances the quality of the fruits and vegetables that are delivered every morning to this market. Buongiorno. No. I want your best prosciutto. What kind of prosciutto you have here? Prosciutto parma. Tutto parma. All this is the same? Sì, sì. Same. Can I taste the prosciutto? Oh. Grazie. Questo yeah. prosciutto crudo di parma. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ok. Bene. Bene? Bene? Bene. Buono. Buono. Bene. Buono. 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 Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Which fish here are from Napoli? Alici. Alici. We marinata. Marinata. Which kind of marinata? Limone. Olio. Ah, okay. Oh. And peperoncino. How long is it in the marinade? Four. Four, four hours and it's ready to eat. Here you go. <laughs> good. Good, good. Yeah, that's how I make it. Very okay. good. Yeah. Come oh, Hmm. Buono. Oh, buono, very nice. Okay, salmona. Mm. Good, good. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good. 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 Blue, blue, blue. Oh my God. It's Bart Simpson with a beard. Do you like fish? Yes. Do you like fish? Here you go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> this business. See? It's a family business? Family. Where's your family? Figlia. Ah. Figlia. Pleasure, pleasure. Figlio. Figlio. Sorella. Ah, your wife. Wife. Ah, give her a kiss. Oh, oh beautiful. Ah, this is my, my camera. Scusa. Fotografia. No, just to hold this. Yeah, hold, hold. Okay, okay, okay. Uno. 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 Dos. Tres. Buongiorno. What is this? This is type. Can I taste? Yes. Yes. Good. Good. So what is this? This is stomach. There's one type of stomach and you have the other like stomach. stomach. This is stomach. 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 What's the origin of this dish? This is an origin, this is traditional, proprio traditional Napoletan. These are plates typical. This in Napoli is consumed a lot. It's consumed more with the lemon, more with the insalata, that is made with salsa or a zuppa. So it's more consumed, because it likes. Then it's a type of strada that comes eaten on the road, that you give it to me, you put salt and lemon and you eat it on the road. But I'm here, I'm going to eat. All you have. Oh, mamma mia. Prima mamma Maria, mia. Mamma mia. Uh, uh, cheers. Mm. 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 Grazie. Ciao. So fantastico. So this is real history here. One of the last places in Naples that still serves this trippa salata, which is all the leftovers you have from the cow. Um, very oh, no. good. Good? Napoletano original. Okay. Yes. Buongiorno. Ciambella? Calda. Grazie. What does ciambella mean? Pasta fritta. Okay. Buon appetito. Grazie. Mm. Fantastico. Bellissimo. Grazie. Thank you. Superbo! Bravissimo! Bravissimo! Now, pasta. The very best in the world. Go. Well, the Italians say, 
he who eats alone dies. Uh, alone. And so I'm meeting for lunch my good friend, the well-known chef Don Alfonso, who has a three-star Michelin restaurant. But today, he decided to take me out to one of his favorite restaurants in Napoli. Now, when Don Alfonso invites you to lunch, you don't refuse. Capisce? Hey! Oh, <laughs> my friend, how are you? Alfonso, hey. it's such an honor to be here again. So, why did you choose this place? This is the best restaurant in town for traditional. Napoli and style. Napoli style. All right. Eh, After you, sir. Hey, hello, nice to meet you. This is the founder of this restaurant. And he's your family? Papa. All right. Listen, I, I, I mean, I see the fish and I see the desserts here, and I'm already. I'm getting very. So, how about we go straight to the kitchen? We go, we go. Okay. It's over there. So, what are we making? Vesuvio di paccheri. Paccheri. The chef of pasta. And what would be the sauce? Fresh tomatoes from Vesuvius. Vesuvius, the, the volcano. Yes. This Vesuvio tomato, uh, it's like candy. We put a little white wine, and after we put the tomatoes, and we leave it to cook at least two hours oh, of the oven. It's very uh, smooth. Uh, I see you use dry pasta. Here is very traditional dry pasta. So it's ready? We use it to cook for uh, Two, three minutes maximum. Nice. And why? Because after we have to bake to finish it. All right. This is cut mozzarella. Okay. This is exciting, really. It's exciting. So what would be the next step now? He is now cheese? mixing fresh peas and the ricotta cheese. Why is there so much cheese in the Italian cooking? The South Italy is very rich of this kind of cheese. And we use our proteins are uh -huh. coming from cheese. Next step. This is beef. Miniature meat bones, and they are fried. And uh -huh. after, we use the boiled eggs. Oh my god, this looks so good. After, we cover with the mashed mozzarella. Eh? So now we take this cupcake. and We go to go? bake now. All right, into the oven it goes. Bye-bye, see you in a bit. For how long is it going to be in the oven? 15 minutes. Ah, OK, I eh? see. Eh? Beautiful. We did some mozzarella sauce and the basilic sauce. It looks like the Vesuvius, like the volcano. Perfecto. Alfonso, my friend, I'm so happy to be in Napoli. Ah, this is the food to enjoy. Mm. Why don't we just go eat? Ah. All right. Fantastic. The cheese is wonderful. In your opinion, this represents Napoli? Yes. The ingredients, the tradition, all mixing together. And it makes you remember the volcano the color. that's always there. Mm. Fantastic. Ice cream was invented in China, but gelato belongs to the Italians. If you ask a chap in Naples, what do you prefer? Vanilla ice cream or, or maybe chocolate? He'll probably tell you... Uh, Gelato artigianale. It's like a bath. Yeah, uh, yes, which means only handmade. Fine, here. I'm with you here. Yes, of don't worry. Of course. Uh, thank you. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I want to understand the secrets of the ice cream of Naples. I've heard it's okay. the best in the world. The best in the world is here. Yes. In this place. I know that you won a prize for the best ice cream. Yes. What is the difference between this ice cream and, say, American ice cream? The process is different. This is made with fresh milk, fresh fruits. All from the area, from yes. Naples? Yes, Every day you Every get day new, day ice new ice cream. Ice cream. And how many different flavors do you have? 34 different flavors. What's your most popular ice cream here? Benavento. It's made with uh, strega liquid. Mmm. You like it? I love it. It's, uh, wow. It has this li hazelnut. liqueur taste, but it's very subtle and the chocolate and it has these little hazelnuts. Is this an invention uh, of, of Napoli? Gelatin, of, of this place. Oh. And also what? our fruit is made with fresh fruit. Let's just some, uh, some, uh, melon, melon. Melon. Fantastic. That's fresh. Melon. You really feel it's yes. fresh. 
Yeah, let's taste some coffee ice cream, yes. please. Yeah. And maybe we'll have it in a cone. Many people make the mistake of thinking that ice cream was invented in Italy, but that is not true. If you ask any Italian, he'll tell you that the ice cream was invented in, in Italy. Sicily. In, in Sicily. In Sicily, of course. In Sicily. Because they're scared to say otherwise. No, 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 no. No, yeah, it's, they, it's true. Maybe yeah. the Arabian people. Grazie, yeah. Mm, it tastes exactly like yeah. the cappuccino. Yeah. Just much more cozy and cuddly and, and um, so smooth and... Mm, I'm gonna finish my very coffee good. ice cream. Enjoy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Naples became a romantic city thanks to its picturesque port. Young couples come here to snuggle and watch the Golf de Napoli, feeling like the new Romeo and Juliet. Andiamo! Hello. Hello, hi. I'm very excited and a bit um, in awe because I know that in this place, the pizza margarita was invented. Yes, it was invented in 1889 by Mr. Raffaele Esposito, who was the pizza maker at this time. The story say that uh, Mr. Raffaele Esposito and his wife, Maria Giovanna Brandi, mm -hmm. went to Capodimonte in the house of the king and made pizza with uh, tomato, with mozzarella cheese and basil, the tricolor of the Italian flag. White, White red, red, and green. And, green. and when the queen asked to the man, what is the name of this dish? The man say, in your honor, Margarita. Oh, is that her? She, this is Margarita. Margarita. Beautiful. She looks nothing like the pizza, does she? You want to try to make a pizza? Yes, very yeah. much. Let's go. OK, I'm ready. So, so where do we start? Is this a specific type of dough? Yes. Is there a secret behind it? Oh, oh I cannot. Uh, oh, say, just cannot give us. Say. Oh man, just give us a little hint. Okay. The dough must sleep about twelve hours. Okay. Originally, it's a very simple food. I mean, yeah. it's a very, it's a street food. Because of this margarita pizza, it became from a simple people's pizza. It became suddenly royal. Because this is simple. The better thing is the simple thing. The genius is yes. always the in, genius. The, in the simplicity. Okay, so mozzarella. Do you need to put love into it? Sì. Amore. Amore. Sì. Amore pizza. Amore pizza. Amore pizza. Amore pizza. Now. Ah! Right. Yes! Yes! Ah! Yes. ah. Now, how long do we wait? 60 to 90 seconds. Wow! It's really quick. Usually pizza takes 10 minutes, you know, 7 no, minutes, 8 no, minutes. No, 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 no. Just pretty. God. Mmm. Anzo. Anzo. <laughs> it's so beautiful, Anzo. <laughs> I have to okay, kiss you. Oh. Okay, yeah. let's eat. But this is royal pizza, and you need a royal seat. Oh, your friend, I'm waiting for you. Let's oh. go. My friend? Yeah, my friend. Follow me. Mancha, this is the best pizza in the world. It's late, had my pizza, I've had my pasta, I feel a bit heavy. Could use something that will kind of clean up my digestive system and revive me. So I think I'll do what every Italian does. A nice small glass of some magical limoncello. Hello. Hello. Wow, what a smell. Oh my 
God! You are in the lemon land. I, yes, <laughs> I, can, I can feel it now. I see why it's called limonine. limonine. You are in a factory where we produce limoncello Me? and crema di limone. If okay. you want, I can let you taste just a little bit. Do I want, she asks. Of okay. course I want. Salute. Salute. Ah, wow. It this gives is, you energy. This is very powerful stuff. <laughs> So let's see how it's made then. Okay. Yes, doctor. Where do we begin? Be careful, because we don't have to take the white part, which is too bitter. Okay. Yes, is that okay? No. You're not so good. Yes. Oh, no. And this is what we use in order to prepare yes, the limoncello? that's all we use. That's all. So what do we do with the peels then? We just put the peels in pure alcohol, and they stay in alcohol seven, eight days. And here you can see the peels that have been already used. Now they are dried. Dried because the alcohol evaporates, but you can smell. Wow. Mm. Yes, it's very strong. All right, we'll put these back in. Yes, so after we have eliminated the peels, okay. we have got a final infusion, which is 90%. 90% So be alcohol. careful because it's going to purify you. All right, in yeah. here. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> this is, wow. Good thing you have this handle there too. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Yes, this is Veronica. not limoncello yet. You like that? I like it you very like much. You like it, okay. Yes. What's next? We In... dilute. Okay, how do we do that then? Adding sugar and water quantities are according to our recipe, and we arrive at 32% in the exactly. final product. Yes. So how do you make it so precise then? There is a machine which tells us exactly the final degree. You make it all sound very simple, but what is the secret? You should what, live in you? Naples. You should have a family who hands the recipe from father to son. Oh, that's not fair. I can't choose where to be born and I want to make well, some limoncello. You can come here and drink whenever you want. I will do that's that. That's a good idea. I will definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs>